Welcome, the Nobel Prize winners of 1904. And why did they win? Let's start with peace. The winner in this section was the Institute of International Law. It was established in 1873 and it is still going on today. They have been working to reduce international conflicts for a long time. And that's why they were given this prize in 1904. Next, we have literature. There are two winners in this section. They are Frederick Mistral and I'm worried about the pronunciation of the next person. That is Jose Echegare. I'm sorry if the pronunciation was not perfect. Frederick Mistral was a poet and the other person is a dramatist. Both of them had big contributions in the field of literature and that is why they were provided this prize in 1904. The next section I'll talk about chemistry. The winner in chemistry is William Ramsey, Sir William Ramsey. He had a big part in discovering inert gases. These inert gases are also known as noble gases. So he won the Nobel Prize for discovering noble gases. And he also had a big hand in the placement of these inert gases in the periodic table. If you look at the periodic table, you will see these inert gases on the right side of the table. The next would be physics. The winner in physics was Lord Rayleigh. Full name John William Strutt, 3rd Baron Rayleigh. He had a big hand in finding out the densities of the most important gases in the world. And he also has a big hand in the discovery of argon. Argon is actually an inert gas. Argon is actually the third most abundant gas in our atmosphere. Lord Rayleigh and William Ramsey actually did this together. And they were given the Nobel Prize in the same year but in different categories. A reminder, they did not do this in 1904. The Nobel Committee does not give out prizes for what you accomplished in the previous year. Now, the last section would be Physiology and Medicine. In this section, the winner is Ivan Pavlov. The Nobel Committee has said that he was given this prize for his work in the study of digestion. Through his work, our understanding of our digestive system has gotten so much better. But, Mr. Pavlov is remembered more for his study in understanding psychology. The study of classical conditioning. There is a good chance that you, the viewer, already know about this study even if you don't know about this man. The study had something to do with ringing a bell and giving food to a dog. Then ringing a bell and giving food to a dog again. Doing this for again and again. And then just ringing the bell had resulted in the dog coming to expect food. I will make a video on classical conditioning in the future. But Ivan Pavlov did that study. This man that won the Nobel Prize in 1904 in Physiology and Medicine. But he won this prize for something else, not his study on classical conditioning. The Nobel Committee has written down that he had won this for his study of digestion. For economics, if you are wondering what happened to economics, who won the prize in economics in 1904? 
it did not start yet this is the official end of this video thank you so much for watching if you are still watching you need to take care of yourself you are the best person that can do that and lastly i really hope you have learned something new today goodbye for now